changed. It was a cartoon. Those weren't actually dwarfs in the movie. They were drawn, okay? So firstly... They were drawn as absolute... dwarfs. No, that Yes, is... they were drawn as seven dwarfs. Snow White and the seven dwarfs. This guy's a moron. He's a moron. <laughs> hey, it's Christine Grace. Welcome back to my channel. Today is another reaction video. Guys, like the video on your way in. Let's get straight into it. Well, joining me is Dylan Posel, who played Hornswoggle the leprechaun in WWE between 2006 and 2016, and by the podcaster and commentator, James Barr. All right, uh, James, you've got a, no problem with what Disney are doing. You think this is progressive and inclusive, and all those moaning about it should shut up. I think you should live in the 1930s, actually, Piers, because that's where you belong, really, listening to what you were just saying then. Also, I'm going to quote Warwick Davis, because he said he finds it patronising when people are offended on his behalf. Mm -hmm. And you've just spent a five-minute monologue being offended on his behalf. Mm -hmm. And I think that's ridiculous. Well, let me bring in Dylan, because Dylan uh, is also offended, and he happens to be a dwarf actor. Dylan, I've got to say, I, I was very curious when I saw what Peter Dinklage came out and said. Because I did wonder who appointed him the head of the dwarf actor community. It turns out nobody did other than him. And the people who it seems to me have really suffered in all this are the six dwarf actors who would have expected to have roles in this remake in a massive Hollywood blockbuster who are now not going to have that experience or the money or the fame that may have come with that. What is your response to that? So it's not a progression at all to me. My issue with it is exactly what you said. There are actors, dwarf actors, that live, that, that dream to be in a major motion picture such as this Disney remake. And now, because Peter Dinklage uh, said what he said last year, now it's taken away. And it's taken away because of quote unquote progression and all that. And that's, it's not, it's not really, it's not right because these are roles made for actors of my stature. Roles right. that aren't ever really given. I can't go out for the Harrison Ford or the George Clooney roles because that's not for me. These dwarf roles are for people of my stature. Right. And now it's taken away. It, it, I don't feel that's right. And not only that, but now think about the additional stunt actors or body doubles or that. Now you're talking multiple actors right. of my stature that don't get these major roles and why what's the real what's the reasoning because we're supposed to be progressive and we're supposed to just not view them as that well you know the these irony heroes the all irony. of these dwarves yeah. all of the all saying, of these dwarves took care of snow white right they all had characteristics separate characteristics they weren't these cave dwelling monsters that that, that, that people speak of it's it's they all had seven different characteristics uh. for seven different actors that from my community and i don't i don't feel it's right that they got taken i taken completely away from us. and utterly agree with you and the irony is that they profess these progressives to want to do this to protect you right they protect dwarf actors from being you know somehow smeared but you don't feel that way at all peter peter dinklage spoke up about this and that was my issue he had in the past no issue cashing checks that were made for dwarf roles mm. like Elf and all of that. Yes, he blew away the barriers when he did his, his roles that weren't necessarily made for a dwarf. But the Elf role was made for a dwarf. Mm. That check cleared just fine. So now that he's gone and done that, the progression of dwarf actors, he's... He, he, it just doesn't it doesn't sit right with me. No, I can, that this guy sit. who is yeah. exactly what you said. What what gave him the voice for all of our community? Yeah, Why? Com I was honest, honest. I think a complete, a complete hypocrite. Horror. Let me bring Joe, let me bring James back in. So when James Piers Morgan is agreeing with you. I think you need to be concerned. I'll say that for the So you're telling the dwarf out to what he should feel. Having no, literally, hang on. And having sure, what having literally say. just lectured me what I about say. speaking for someone in the dwarf community, Warwick Davis, you now accuse a dwarf actor. I'm not no, it's not what I said. I said that if anyone if you're siding with anyone, you've got to worry. Right. What I'd like to say actually is that I kind of mostly agree with what you're no, saying. No, no. And now you're sir, that's just taking a pot shot there. 
No, I, saying, it, oh, yeah, it is Pierce absolutely Morgan taking a pot shot. Me. But I do agree with what you're saying. I completely agree with your point of view, and I think that's really important. But I, I can only speak from my experience. And as a gay man, I know that growing up, I witnessed gay people being villains in movies when I was... Is he equating the struggles of being gay to the same struggles as being a dwarf? Oh, we love a virtue signal. Oh, well, this is my trauma. This is what I've been through. Seven dwarves are villains. And that I think stereotypes are really important to What stereotype smash. do you think and they actually, represent? in the universe of Snow White, wouldn't it be better I don't feel, if dwarves are... I don't feel are, this, is a, this I, isn't a part of this, about the stereotype. Right. This is about roles that were that were made for people such a, of my stature that don't have the chance to go out for other roles normally. But you, James so Bond, why you, you taking... want to stop Dylan I am getting not... a role in a Hollywood yes, film. I am not going to get into an attack on a dwarf. You don't want a dwarf actor to no, land a role I do, playing actually. a dwarf part. Listen, a why? dwarf can play a dwarf part, but I think it's important to change narratives that don't fit in today's society. And really, it Which might is be that better... Narrative? It might be better What's the, if dwarves sir, just exist sir, in normal me. roles everywhere What's, because they do exist. What was in so real bad life. about the way dwarves were depicted in Snow White? Have I missed something? Well, that, listen, I'm not that's, here to talk that's about. What I, that's what I'm kind of oh, wondering. Well, well, as well. I don't I'm represent telling. Disney, but I'm just saying I think I see their point of view. What's their point of view? What was so bad about the depiction of the dwarves? Why are you What's so upset about a movie changing with the times and moving forward? Because I think, that, honestly, with great respect, really, there is real news we could be discussing. No, but this is real news if you're a dwarf actor who are now out of work. Because of virtue signaling idiots. But you're just who using this. Everything. He's spot on. Virtue signaling idiots. Like, you can't even defend the point. Ugh, the left always does this. They can't defend the point, so they always try and virtue signal. Well, there's, there's more virtuous things we could be talking about. Shut up. It has to be rewritten you are just to be using inclusive. Dylan as a cheap when in shot. fact, it's not inclusive at all. No, you're using Dylan as a cheap shot to attack a Wokey. That's. What's I don't think happening. Dylan feels I'm using him as a cheap shot. And what I would say about the Wokey thing is this I have spent the last year listening to people tell me only gay actors should play gay parts. Only Welsh actors of Michael Sheen. Oh, how rich. How rich. How the tables turn. Should play Welsh characters. And so on and so on and so on. A new one. But the moment we have dwarf roles, which are the most famous dwarf roles in Hollywood history, then the only people apparently who can't play them our dwarf it actors. Dwarf and I see there it's a cartoon stinking here. So me, hypocrisy. It has not changed. It's literally called Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And you're going to say it's not <laughs> about. My brain sometimes feels like it malfunctions from the level of stupidity that comes from these people. It was a cartoon. Those weren't actually dwarfs in the movie. They were drawn, okay? So firstly... They were drawn as absolute... dwarfs. No, that yes, is... they were drawn as seven dwarfs. Snow White and the seven dwarfs. This guy's a moron. He's a moron. <laughs> but it's a Literally story called about dwarves. 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 Well, they it's shouldn't be called that. They shouldn't be called... They shouldn't be called dwarves. No, they... Now he's saying what the bloody book should be called. It should be called people with dwarfism. They shouldn't be called... What's wrong with being they called, be dwarves? called dwarves? Nothing, but that's not the correct That's the term. story. Dylan, apparently you should, you're not allowed to call yourself dwarves. Apparently, Dylan, you're not allowed to call yourself dwarves, apparently. I would love to hear, what should I call myself, sir? I think you should call yourself whatever you feel comfortable with, but as a person... He calls himself a dwarf. A dwarf. That's, that's great, a dwarf. Though. Good yeah. for you. I'm happy to... So, that's... so now, but now, sir, <laughs> let me, let me, let me pause that. So we, it, it shouldn't... Surely he knows he looks a tit right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So bad. Be called Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It Listen, just be I do not Snow want to get cancelled so because saying... I think your point of view is more important than mine right now. But what I'm annoyed about is Piers trying to take a cheap shot at someone that believes in society moving forward. Yeah, I'm actually because really, if I'm actually to... exposing the hypocrisy it's of not... the woke mentality of only gay people can play gay parts, only trans actors can play trans parts, and so I... on and so on and so on. I think we will right get to, the to point, a place where right to the point, can play Snow White role. and the Seven Dwarfs has to be cancelled because you're not allowed to have dwarf You actors. should be happy, Piers, because it means that now you can play your dream role of Grumpy. I would love to play Grumpy. I loved all the uh, dwarves in that movie. They were great. You, Let sorry, me ask no, you you're guys. being a hypocrite. You'd love <laughs> to play Grumpy, but you're no, no, taking no, no, a role no. away from a dwarf The issue actor. at hand... No, I would play a fully grown Grump, by, quite by, happily. By taking away a role from a Let dwarf. me ask you, Dylan, uh, about the Hugh Grant playing an Oompa Loompa, because, again, it seems to me... Oh, we've got a clip of him playing an Oompa Loompa. Let's have a look at this. You're the funny little man who's been following me. I will have you know that I am a perfectly respectable size for an Oompa Loompa. An Oompa what now? Allow me to refresh your memory. Oh, I don't think I want to hear that. Too late. I've started dancing now. Once we've started, we can't stop. So you're the funny little man who's been following. Now, they use CGI there, Dylan, to effectively make him 
into an Oompa Loompa dwarf. So now, what do you feel about that? Yes, sir. So now, now we're not only using CGI and spending extra money and, and funding for these movies when we could just cast dwarves in that role. Mm. Whether it be one dwarf or multiple, that, like they have been in the past, now you're taking at least one roll away mm. or multiple roles. And paying someone like Hugh Grant to do it. Rolls away for Oompa Loompa characters. That, that's what they were in the past. And, and why, again, I go back to my, my, my stance on these roles, roles in Hollywood in general, are very hard for people of my community to yeah. get besides the elf and the leprechaun and this and that. So why are they being taken from my community? That's And you know what's what's crazy is you can guarantee that they wouldn't give him the role of a full-size bloke and use CGI to make him full-sized. So the idea that it's all about, you know, wokeness and inclusion and progression is just complete bollocks because they're not going to do it the other way around. That's my issue here. Well, it's you know why? You know why, Dylan? You know why? Because people like James here, they think it's progressive and inclusive. No, when see, in fact, it's regressive. That, that's not word. It's that's regressive it. and exclusive. I don't, your I don't. words. Pierce, I... I Dylan? Pierce, I will, I, I, will, I will agree with the mindset of it's not right. Uh, I don't know. James, James seems to be uh, in, in partial agreement with me on the dwarf actors and the roles with, uh, that, that these should be. But mm. I, I don't, on the other stuff, I can't speak on that, obviously. It's, it's, I'm focused fully on the dwarf community really losing roles in these films. Yeah, I think James and starts with James all the starts SAG strikes, with all the, with all the writer strikes yeah. and well, the actor is, I, strikes. I do agree with you, and I think all I'm trying to say is that I think it's a nuanced conversation and there's a mm. few different points of view that are valid. And ultimately, in my experience as a gay man, the reason we're upset about gay people not getting gay roles in movies is because we're not getting straight roles as well. And mm. until we are, it's unfair that those roles are taken away from us. So with, in that respect... What, what's that got to do with dwarf actors? Because they, they can't play... Well, I, think, size I think P Peter Dinklage's original point is that he would like to see more dwarves in films in general, not just playing dwarves. How does that make any sense when he ex has literally excluded them from the film? That in general, said. literally, I should a, a person of my stature should be able to go out for the same as a six foot five, two hundred pound human. But it's it's just not that way, and I'm okay with that. In reality, I'm okay with that. It's understandable to me. Guy understands reality, huh? It's a rare trait these days. When it's these roles that are made for people of my stature, yes. that's where I have the issue. You know what, Dylan? The movie, one of the great movies of all time, is called Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. If if dwarf actors in Hollywood are not picked to play those roles, I don't know what roles you're supposed to be playing. It's, it's unbelievably I have, uh, patronizing that they've done this under the be, banner of so-called progression. And it's not, again, like I said, these dwarves in that movie in the, or in this, this uh, story aren't viewed poorly, I don't believe. No. They're all separate characters yeah. that are actually heroes for this lady. <laughs> yes. And they take care and they take this lady in. They save so her. So they're viewed so well to society. They save the woman. Now they're, they're hardworking, they're wealthy, they they are kind, they are generous hearted. It's hard to think of a more positive and, and sort of goal narrative about any people goal. at all. Well let's just go back to the nineteen thirties, Piers. I think you'd be happy you there. Know what, James? Blackface would exist now. No, that, no, sir, no, it's not blackface. James, it's not blackface. And what you're now doing than happy. because you know you've lost just being you know you've lost Oh my gosh. The no, argument. There's no argument. And you know here. you've been embarrassed. You're, you're, you're not embarrassed. You are embarrassed. You just said an argument that doesn't exist. Hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. We agree with each other. Please. All right. You know what? You do agree with him now because you realize the futility of your argument. James, you can't go and go oh you got to go back to 1930s no. no james when you if you agree with what i'm saying you can't, i agree with you what know, you're saying i don't agree with anything say, that peers yeah here's say. the thing dylan dylan just he to be said, clear he literally just said yeah, what i said james dylan just to be clear leftists <laughs> He doesn't agree when I say it, but when you say it, he agrees. Because you're not. Because he can virtue signal by agreeing with the dwarf, but he can't virtue signal by agreeing with the middle aged white man. There we go. Someone that, said it. That right now, I'm not a dwarf, no, but that right there is the hypocrisy of the woke brigade. Uh, Dylan, well, okay, okay, of, so let, let me, let me let just me, say, Dylan, I've got to let go, unfortunately. Pierce, quickly, please. Pierce, quickly. Final word, Dylan. Pierce, real, James, 
James, let me ask you this. So if a, if a writer writes a piece on what I'm saying, is it wrong of them? Because essentially, that's the same as the words yeah. coming out of my mouth. What? Yeah. yeah, but you're not saying that I, I am a woke hypocrite, and Piers is, and that's what I disagree no, with, no, no, because no. I'm absolutely not. Mm. I, 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 so I, when now, I'm saying I agree that I disagree with you, right, Piers, gonna, nothing to do with your We're going to leave it there. Just to be clear, Dylan, he disagrees with what I say, but when you say exactly the same thing, he completely agrees <laughs> with you. So, and that so annoying. is James Barr, right to <laughs> a T. Uh, Dylan, nonsense. fantastic having you on Piers Morgan Uncensored. You did a, such a brilliant job in highlighting why this is so ridiculous. Shame on Disney, and I hope you get another brilliant role very soon. I really do. It, well, I, I hope so too, and I, I hope that... Uh... This really kind of resounds <coughs> with how my how I feel. Yeah. And I don't speak for the whole dwarf culture no. and, and community, but this is literally well, how does. I feel. Well, Piers does. Morgan speaks for the entire Dylan, dwarf I, community. I've got to leave it there, Dylan. Speaks thank for you. all of you. Thank so you, Dylan, for joining me. And uh, James, that's helpful, I think. thank you for joining me. Because You're so welcome. You came on and you beautifully highlighted the, the shocking hypocrisy, hypocrisy of, culture. of your culture. Absolutely. What a mug. You can't even see it. <laughs> I certainly see the hypocrisy. Can you? Why don't you let me know in the comments section below what you thought of that nonsense. <laughs> guys, like the video on your way out and be sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of my content. I will see you guys very, very soon in the next one. Take care.